Hello everyone, just a quick demo of Keyword Squire 2.0. This is the second version. We released uh, Keyword Squire back in December, right before Christmas, and unfortunately we ran into some pretty nasty bugs, but we spent the last few months making a lot of improvements, adding a lot of new features, fixing bugs, and Keyword Squire 2.0 is the result of all that hard work. So let me go ahead and give a quick demo here. I've got dog training entered as the main keyword. I've selected all for the six different search engines that I want to get results from. Now I'm going to click auto search. That's one of the new features. And just to speed things up, we'll only go two levels deep on this demonstration. I'll click OK. And what it's doing now is it's going to each of those six different search engines and it's looking for the related keywords and the keyword suggestions for that seed keyword. So level one returned 60 different results. These are all uh, unique results. It filters out the duplicates automatically. And now for level two, it's taking those 60 keywords and going through the same process. Goes to each of those six different search engines, finds the related keywords and the keyword suggestions, compiles them all, filters out the duplicates, and bring back the results to you. Now I'm going to say that we're probably going to be somewhere above 16, maybe 1700 keywords because it compounds fairly quickly. So okay, 1628. And now what it's doing, you see it says updating. Now it's going to Google AdWords and it's going to bring back all of the search data, the CPC, the competition, so on and so forth. Now if you can look over here, we've added KWOCI, Keyword Online Commercial Intent. So once all of this data fills in, Keyword Squire has a built-in formula that will compute online uh, commercial intent. Now it involves most of this data and it's a uh, fairly complicated formula. So instead of displaying a number like some of the other keyword tools do to where you're not really sure you know, what that number means, if it's good or bad, we've just put high, medium, and low to kind of take the guesswork out on your part. So while it's finishing up here, let me talk about just a couple of the other features. If you can see here, we can search five levels deep. So if we got 1,628 keywords for two levels, uh, you can imagine what will happen when you go three, four, five levels deep. Uh, it'll easily return, you know, 40, 50, 60,000 keywords. And I've got an example a little later down on the sales page that you'll see with some staggering numbers. And uh, you can check that out later. So, okay, now we have filled in all of the AdWords data. And another feature that we have here is we can filter. You can just type in dog training and with a comma, and it will take out all of the keywords that don't have dog training in the keyword phrase. You could also negative keyword search with a, a minus symbol, then the keyword and comma, and it will only take out those keywords that have that in the phrase. So if you want most of your keywords, but you happen to notice a couple that are a little far-fetched or that you don't want, then you just type that in and takes all those out. Now we can do a couple different types of filtering also. We can filter by local and global search count. Just enter the number here, choose which one you want, and it filters out everything that doesn't meet that requirement. Same thing with the CPC, so if you only want to see something that's a buck or more, just type in you know, a dollar and it'll filter out everything else. And another CPC function we have here is if I right click on CPC, you'll get an option for best AdSense options. Now if I were to click that, what it would do is it would filter the keywords and rank them in order of the keywords that have the highest CPC with the most amount of searches and a few other things we factored in and basically will give you some good ideas for sites to build your AdSense sites around or you know keywords to target for AdSense. Okay so as you can see up here we've got domain check you can check domain we have that set up separately for a couple of reasons a lot of keyword tools will put that in you know just to automatically show up but you may not you know this keyword squire is capable of returning easily over 30,000 keywords. A lot of those you're not going to want to even look for domains for. So once you get your filtering down you know, to a reasonable amount of, of uh, keywords that you're really interested in looking at, then you can check for the domains. And, and we think that's a lot better than wasting the time to check for you know, all 30,000 all at once. You can filter and sort, or rather you can sort by any of the different tabs that you see up here. 
and in the next video I will show you some of the more advanced features if I go ahead and right click here in the main area you'll see where it says analyze competition we've got a keyword competition analyzation app in here we've got add keywords basically what that means is that uh, if you were searching these levels individually versus the auto search after level one completes you could add three additional keywords so basically you would be searching four seed keywords for level two and beyond so uh, that's a nice little feature we got retry search volume in case you, you notice one you think maybe you know there might have been a problem with the proxy or something like that uh, then you can retry individual keyword for search volumes of course you can ex export everything to Excel and then you can also export everything to a text file now this option is actually pretty nice uh, it's a good time saver when you're building your website a lot of times you'll have to list your keywords in different places for SEO purposes and they want you to list it keyword comma keyword two comma keyword three comma so on and so forth with this option here select the keywords that you want click export to text file and it will save that text file to your desktop with the keywords already in order with commas between them for you so that's a nice little time saver and then the last two options we have here are some of our more advanced features we have find related content and find related products and if you were to click on either one of those which I'll demonstrate in the next video along with the analysis page you will get four different types of information from four different services that as an example in the find related content you know if your keyword is dog collars for like the one that's highlighted here you click find related content and it'll show you videos Flickr images articles from several different uh, article directories and RSS you know that you can then click on those and it will open in another browser and allow you to see if possibly that's where you want to get some of your content and the same type of thing with the related products four different uh, sources we've got uh, offer vault eBay Amazon and Clickbank in there so you know as you're building your affiliate sites or you know just whatever sites you're building you're want, wanting to look for uh, related products to promote along with your keyword that'll help you tremendously finding those so and then once again you can just click on the links that it shows and it'll open a separate browser and you know if you're not familiar with where that particular product is as far as its um, affiliate program you'll know by the heading you can check it out and you know see if it's something you want to promote okay I'll see you on the next video 